I never question why am I going through this. I, I you know, it, it's a part of the overall plan. I just prayed to the Lord that give me a purpose. I remember when Kay was really, really sick, I went to see her and she talked to me about forming an organization, her dreams for an organization that would fight cancer, especially breast cancer, and help other women win that battle. I know what it is, uh, the battle for your life, like so many people in this country are doing. And I'm, I feel blessed by the Lord to have been given an opportunity to be a part of making a difference. Coach Al was a master teacher but she was a master student. She learned through her own teaching and through asking questions. To have somebody such as Kay that is so highly regarded and such a passionate person about this cause, to look at her and how she handled her walk through cancer. You don't find pe that many people that are that gracious in such difficult times. I've gone personally from the lows to the highs, as I know many of you have in life, as I battle cancer and then I come out and have a court named for me, have a great team of players and staff and win this game, I, I can't say what it, it really uh, gives me a great lift in a lot of ways. Being a part of this game gives you a chance to pause and go, you know, how do we use this game to give back? How do we use this game to raise money for research for all women's cancers? We're doing that and we're doing it at a very high level and we're doing it at a very successful level and I think when she watches the games and she thinks about what we're doing and how we're carrying out her vision, I think she'd be really proud that everybody is all in on trying to make a difference. I can see her walking around smiling with her head shaking and talking to everyone. <laughs> I mean, that smile, and I just think that she will just be glowing right now. Even today, the KEL Foundation, with her name on it, is still giving and making life better for so many. More than five million dollars already invested back in the lives of people. Kay would be so proud of that.